Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com and I wanted to talk a little bit about SonarCube and specifically fixing this annoying little JVM DLL is missing, missing server JVM startup error. Uh, it's actually a pretty simple one to, to, to fix. I've actually got SonarCube installed. It's installed right there in the underscore, underscore SonarCube directory. I'm just going to bring it up and see if I can trigger that error. So. I'll move into that directory. And now I'm in the right directory. I'm just going to say start sonar. It'll start the JVM. And you'll see right away I end up getting this error. And if I dig back into the, the DOS prompt, you can see I see get something like missing server JVM and missing server JVM.dll. Well, you notice it's going to C program files Java JRE. Somehow the JRE is part of my path. Um, but I've definitely got the JDK installed. I got the JRE installed under program files as well, but right under C underscore JDK, you can see I've got the JDK right there. And it's this java.exe file that SonarCube should be using, uh, that java.exe file right there. Instead, it's going to the JRE. Now, in order to fix this problem, all I have to do is go into SonarCube's conf directory and edit the wrapper. I'm going to open that with Notepad++. And you can see right here, it's just looking for Java on the path. Now, Instead of just looking for Java on the path, and it looks like the JRE's Java EXE follows on the path, I can explicitly state, hey, no, go into the JDK there, specifically the bin directory. I'm going to copy that just because that'll make sure I don't have any spelling errors, and go directly in there to find that java.exe file. So I'm going to save that file, save. And of course, they don't have the .exe extension on there, but you don't need that. You just have to make sure that it's pointing at your JDK's Java executable file. With that done, I'm going to close the DOS prompt and create a new one. I know that the DOS prompt sometimes caches systems variables. I don't think this one will be cached, but um, it might be. I'll move back into my SonarCube's bin directory and go find the folder where the start sonar.batch file is run start sonar.bat keep my fingers crossed it looks like it's taking a little bit longer to start up here which is good I can also see that we are now going to see JDK 1.8 bin so it's actually now using the JDK and it should start up momentarily and allow me to go and access sonar cube from the localhost URL And I think it's localhost 9000 on which I'm running. So I go to localhost 9000, make sure everything's started up, of course. And all of a sudden, I do get the fact that indeed SonarCube is up. And that's it. I've now fixed the JVM DLL not found error.